Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we're doing my, we're continuing my 2022 year end top tens as we are going to uh, look at my number seven welterweight in the world right now, the former WBA regular champion, Radza Butayev. As he, um, it, you know, enters the year, um, he previously was number seven, so he stays where he's at. He's only 29, still very young. The welterweight division on the whole, very young division outside of uh, like maybe three fighters. Uh, young and guys coming into their prime. But Butayev entered the year coming off of his biggest win when he when he knocked out Jamal James in 2021 to grab the belt. And he entered the year, you know, looking to make an impression. And in April, he would make a mandatory defense against undefeated Imantis Stanionis. And, you know, Butayev gave his heart. I mean, the guy is, the guy is uh, just a good, solid grinder in the ring. And he went at it with... Um, with um, Stanionis, but came up just short. It was a really good back and forth battle. They went toe to toe. It was a fight that probably could have went either way. Stanionis walked away. Most felt the deserving winner. I, I agreed. I thought he did just a little more. Um, but like I said, Butai have nothing to hang his head about. Stanionis was a, is a un, was is an undefeated, you know, guy on the rise that people are expecting to be very good. Um, and Butayev is now 14 and one with 11 knockouts. He's still the WBA's number six contender. And more importantly, Butayev really fighting with the PBC is, is big for him because this division, pretty much every top 10 fighter is a PBC guy outside of like Virgil Ortiz and maybe one other fighter. So, you know, Butayev's gonna have opportunity. He really is. There's gonna be opportunities here to fight good, solid ass fighters. And I know is gonna get a, a solid opportunity in 2023. Um, and now that the PBC is, is uh, cranking up their schedule, a lot of the top guys are gonna fight probably in the first quarter of the year, first half of the year especially. And Butayev should be getting in the ring. He's had a good layoff now, uh, can rest, and now he should be good to go. I, think, I don't know if Butayev's gonna get a title shot. He could, he could not. I wouldn't be surprised if he's a guy that gets in the ring with Boots Ennis for the IBF belt this year uh, because Boots is probably going to, he's probably, you know, Spence um, probably not going to fight him. If Crawford fights Spence and beats him, he's probably not going to want to fight Boots in us. So Boots will get upgraded to champ and then he'd be looking for somebody. And I think uh, Butayev might be a guy, you know, that, that would fight him, yeah, especially if offered enough money. So definitely think Butayev is going to get a good opportunity in 2023. And it's, we just got to wait and see what happens. So that's it. That's what I got. That's my um, number seven welterweight in the world right now at 147 pounds as my 2022 year-end top tens continue. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.